The Director of National Intelligence is the United States government cabinet-level official—subject to the authority, direction, and control of the President of the United States required by the Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004 to serve as head of the 16-member United States intelligence community, direct and oversee the national intelligence program, and serve as an advisor, upon invitation, to the President and his executive offices of the National Security Council and the Homeland Security Council about intelligence matters related to national security. The Director produces the President's Daily Brief PDB, a top-secret document including intelligence from all the various agencies, given each morning to the President of the United States. The PDB is seen by the President and those approved by the President. On July 30, 2008, President George W. Bush issued Executive Order 13470, amending Executive Order 12333 to strengthen the DNI's role. Further, by Presidential Policy Directive 19 signed by Barack Obama in October 2012, the DNI was given overall responsibility for intelligence community whistleblowing and source protection. Under 50 U.S.C. § 403-3A under ordinary circumstances, it is desirable that either the director or the principal deputy director of national intelligence be an active duty commissioned officer in the armed forces or have training or experience in military intelligence activities and requirements. Only one of the two positions can be held by a military officer at any given time. The statute does not specify what rank the commissioned officer will hold during his or her tenure in either position. The DNI is appointed by the President and is subject to confirmation by the Senate, and serves at the pleasure of the President. The current DNI is Dan Coates, who was nominated for the office on January 5, 2017, by then President elect Donald Trump. The DNI and Principal Deputy Director of National Intelligence both resigned with effect on January 20, Trump's inauguration day. Pending Coates' confirmation, Mike Dempsey was acting DNI from January 20, and became a member of President Trump's cabinet on February 8, the first time that the DNI was a cabinet-level position. The United States Senate Intelligence Committee held Coates' confirmation hearing on February 28, which approved Coates on March 9, by a 13-2 vote. The Senate confirmed his nomination with an 85-12 vote on March 15, and he was sworn into office the next day. History Founding Before the DNI was formally established, the head of the intelligence community was the Director of Central Intelligence who concurrently served as the Director of the Central Intelligence Agency the 9-11 Commission recommended establishing the DNI position in its 9-11 Commission report, not released until July 22, 2004, as it had identified major intelligence failures that called into question how well the intelligence community was able to protect U.S. interests against foreign terrorist attacks. Senators Dianne Feinstein, J. Rockefeller and Bob Graham introduced S-2645 on June 19, 2002, to create the Director of National Intelligence position. Other similar legislation soon followed. After considerable debate on the scope of the DNI's powers and authorities, the United States Congress passed the Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004 by votes of 336 to 75 in the House of Representatives, and 89 to 2 in the Senate. President George W. Bush signed the bill into law on December 17, 2004. Among other things, the law established the DNI position as the designated leader of the United States intelligence community and prohibited the DNI from serving as the CIA director or the head of any other intelligence community element at the same time. In addition, the law required the CIA director to report his agency's activities to the DNI. Critics say compromises during the bill's crafting led to the establishment of a DNI whose powers are too weak to adequately lead, manage and improve the performance of the U.S. intelligence community. 
In particular, the law left the United States Department of Defense in charge of the National Security Agency (NSA), the National Reconnaissance Office (NRO), and the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency The limited DNI role in leading the US intelligence community is discussed on the Intelligence Community page. Topic appointments: The first Director of National Intelligence was US Ambassador to Iraq John Negroponte, who was appointed on February 17, 2005, by President George W. Bush subject to confirmation by the Senate. It was reported that President Bush's first choice for DNI was former Director of Central Intelligence Robert M. Gates, who was serving as President of Texas A&M University, but who declined the offer. Negroponte was confirmed by a Senate vote of 98–2 in favor of his appointment on April 21, 2005, and he was sworn in by President Bush on that day. On February 13, 2007, John Michael McConnell became the second Director of National Intelligence, after Negroponte was appointed Deputy Secretary of State. Donald M. Kerr was confirmed by the U.S. Senate to be Principal Deputy Director of National Intelligence on October 4, 2007, and sworn in on October 9, 2007. Kerr, from Virginia, was most recently the director of the National Reconnaissance Office, and previously the duty director for science and technology at the U.S. CIA and earlier in his career the assistant director of the Justice Department's FBI. Declan McCulloch at News.com wrote on August 24, 2007, that the DNI site was configured to repel all search engines to index any page at dni.gov. This effectively made the DNI website invisible to all search engines and in turn, any search queries. Ross Feinstein, spokesman for the DNI, said that the cloaking was removed as of September 3, 2007. We're not even sure how the robots.txt file got there but it was again somehow hidden the next day. Another blog entry by McCulloch on September 7, states that the DNI site should now be open to search engines. This explanation is plausible because some software used for web development has been known to cause servers to automatically generate and regenerate robots.txt, and this behavior can be difficult to turn off. Therefore, if the web developers working for the DNI had tried to solve the issue by simply removing robots.txt, it would have looked like it worked at first, but then fail once the server had undergone a self-check for the robots.txt file. Robots.txt has been configured to allow access to all directories for any agent. In September 2007, the Office of the DNI released Intelligence Community 100-day and 500-day plans for integration and collaboration. These plans include a series of initiatives designed to build the foundation for increased cooperation and reform of the U.S. intelligence community. On July 20, 2010, President Obama nominated retired Lieutenant Three Star Gen. James R. Clapper for the position. Clapper was confirmed by the Senate on August 5, and replaced acting director David C. Gompert. The prior DNI was retired Navy four-star Admiral Dennis C. Blair, whose resignation became effective May 28, 2010. <laughs> Office of the Director of National Intelligence ODNI. The Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004 established the Office of the Director of National Intelligence as an independent agency to assist the DNI. The ODNI's goal is to effectively integrate foreign, military and domestic intelligence in defense of the homeland and of United States interests abroad. The budget for the ODNI and the intelligence community for fiscal year 2013 was $52.6 billion and the base request for fiscal year 2014 was $48.2 billion. The Military Intelligence Program base budget request for fiscal year 2014, excluding overseas contingency funds, is $14.6 billion, which together with the NIP, comprise an intelligence community budget request of $62.8 billion for fiscal year 2014. The ODNI has about 1,750 employees. On March 23, 2007, DNI Mike McConnell announced organizational changes, which include Elevating acquisition to a new Deputy DNI position Creating a new Deputy DNI for policy, plans, and requirements replacing the Deputy DNI for requirements position Establishing an executive committee 
Designating the Chief of Staff position as the new director of the Intelligence Staff ODNI continued to evolve under succeeding directors, culminating in a new organization focused on intelligence integration across the community. The ODNI has six centers and 15 offices that, together with the centers, support the Director of National Intelligence as the head of the Intelligence Community in overseeing and directing implementation of the NIP and acting as the principal advisor to the President, the National Security Council, and the Homeland Security Council for intelligence matters related to national security. The six ODNI centers include Intelligence Advanced Research Projects Agency Information Sharing Environment ICE, National Counterproliferation Center NCPC, National Counterterrorism Center NCTC, National Intelligence Council NIC, Office of the National Counterintelligence Executive ONCIX. Topic ODNI organization. The ODNI is divided into core, enabling, and oversight offices. The principal deputy director to the DNI, in a role similar to that of a chief operating officer, oversees operation of ODNI offices, manages intelligence community coordination and information sharing, reinforces the DNI's intelligence integration initiatives, and focuses on IC resource challenges. Core mission. The core mission functions of the ODNI are organized under the Deputy DNI for Intelligence Integration DDNI, The DDNI, too facilitates information sharing and collaboration through the integration of analysis and collection, and leads the execution of core mission functions. These include Integration Management Council National Intelligence Council Mission Integration Division National Counterterrorism Center National Counterproliferation Center Office of the National Counterintelligence Executive Topic Mission Enablers Mission enablers include policy, engagement, acquisition, resource, human capital, financial, and information offices. Topic Oversight Oversight offices include the General Counsel, Civil Liberties, Public Affairs, Inspector General, Equal Employment Opportunity, and Legislative Affairs functions. Directors Status Directors by time in office This list does not include David Gompert, who served as acting director of National Intelligence for 69 days in 2010 between the firing of Dennis C. Blair and the appointment of James R. Clapper. Topic line of succession The line of succession for the Director of National Intelligence is as follows, Principal Deputy Director of National Intelligence Deputy Director of National Intelligence for Intelligence Integration Director of the National Counterterrorism Center National Counterintelligence Executive Inspector General of the Intelligence Community Topic Subordinates Topic Principal Deputy Directors of National Intelligence Topic Director of the Intelligence Staff – Chief Management Officer Topic Intelligence Community Inspector General Topic Deputy Deputy Directors of National Intelligence Topic Assistant Directors of National Intelligence Topic Assistant Deputy Directors of National Intelligence Topic See also Topic References Topic External links Official website The National Counterproliferation Center at the Wayback Machine archived April 28, 2015. The National Counterterrorism Center The National Counterintelligence Executive Program Manager for the Information Sharing Environment Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act of 2004 Articles U.S. News & World Report, First Line of Defense, Inside the Efforts to Remake U.S. Intelligence Fact Sheet, Real Progress in Reforming Intelligence The Washington Post, December 29, 2006, DNI Awards $2 million in Hush Hush Money The National Security Archive, from Director of Central Intelligence Intelligence to Director of National Intelligence U.S. National Intelligence, an overview 2013